Why, hello there. I am Mad Lord Dolvin, and welcome back to Let's Play Wyvern and Keep. Um, when last we left our heroes, we just finished level 1, and now we're on to level 2-1, breaking ground in the temple proper. Let's get started, and hopefully I don't mess up too much. If I do, you'll get to hear me swear. Look at all this money. Guru, look at that money. Look at that money. Okay, so, let's see here. I recently hit a crossroad. While I would prefer to leave the site intact, time has taken its toll on the ruins, and I was finding paths blocked by debris. No kidding! We just got here, and I'm clueless! That's not circumstantial. I have hauled in a share... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I got confused. I have hauled in a share of small explosives to clear the rubble while minimizing damage to this wondrous place. Wait, explosives? Finally, some action! Let's blow some crap up! No, wife. This isn't that kind of game. Listen. The dynamite is lightweight enough to carry and has a 10 second fuse, allowing, allowing me time to repeat, <laughs> repeat... Allowing me time to retreat after placement but I must constantly remind myself of the very real dangers it poses. What? Danger? But my desire to be an action star... We'll have to wait. Sorry, hon. Hmm. Okay, so... The trick here is to get th this um, dynamite down this area below to blow up that wall without blowing up the crate. So to do that, we need to put the crate over here. And we move the dynamite over here. We move the crate down here. we go. Jones's last stand. Like this. Damn it. Okay. Because we're in first. Let's get somebody up there. Let's get sit across here. Was it? Set us up the bomb. So first we need to get both our guys up to the top there. Ah! Oh. I always screw up the jump with her. Oh man. So we can go like 
this. And like this. I have taken to the scripture etched in the ancient stone of the temple. While my comprehension of the Zuhadal language is shameful at best, I have come to understand some of the origin of this marvel. It was erected as a tribunal to the god... What is it? Um... Quesadilla! That cannot possibly be it. Give it here. Quetzalcoatl, a protector of the Zuhadal people, revered above all others. He is said to be a fantastic combination of all sacred animals, though I cannot fathom such a, de such a design. Oh, I just screwed the voice. If he's so fantastic, he should have a name people can pronounce. And we need to get down here safely. Hey, we got down there safely. Two deaths, though. Yikes. This one was a bitch to figure out, and I think this is the last one I did before I ended up quitting. Yeah, do four. So, let's just get this thing started. So, what I'm going to do... Is that... He can go down there that. Now he can push that across. Blow up the barrier. And push this block on top of there. This was the last one I did before screw around. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Oh, what is this stuff? Uh, I'm not sure. But maybe? This is my shoes. Or it could be feces. I don't know who's talking. It's my hair. Quick, read the note. Maybe it says something. It says, Today I stumbled, dare I say, into a shockingly viscous mud. Well, that's good news. It's not poop. Fantastic. Keep reading. A deep orange combination of rainwater and the soft sile stone of the temple to blocks. While submerged in the primordial ooze, I was incapacitated, unable to leap or pull myself free with any amount of effort exerted. Only by avoiding the quagmire could I hope to scale new heights in the temple. So basically, this stuff stops you from jumping. See? So. To resolve this, so like this. goes back over here. I wonder if I can get that key. Ah, shit. I'm gonna try for that key.
not screw it. So like this. Oh man. Okay, let's try this again. Damn it. Okay, so I guess I need to leave uh wife at the door. Not down in some random hole. Stay there. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can s so, you can go up here. Fantastic. Sticky situation. Alright, so what do we need to do here? We need to somehow get. Shit. We need to somehow get boxes over to the switch on the right hand side without them falling through down to. Well, I guess we need to put all three boxes down below. And somehow do the thing with the thing and the stuff and junk. So first we get rid of this. Then
Atlantis' tomb. Out of curiosity, what happens if I, if I drown? Okay, we cry. That's what happens. So. Turn to map. I don't get it. I mean, they penalize us for dying. But, going to the map and back resets the death counter, so. But, you know, it, it's an alpha. It's an alpha, so things are forgivable. Definitely, definitely forgivable. Oh, shit! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. Very nice. So I have to do all this with one character. So. Oops. So, let's see here. Boom, boom. It, it's all soggy and it smells like you. But I bathed in the river on the way in. Falling in is not the same as bathing. Anyway, deep within the belly of the temple lies a sacred treasure. The golden idol for which the temple was named. A legendary artifact of great mystery. Golden idol? Like solid gold? We're gonna be rich! You mean you dragged me all the way out here, and you didn't even know about the name of the temple? I saw it on a postcard. It looked promising enough. What else, does the what else does the doc say? We'll get back to this. Um. The scripture tiptoes around the object, almost as if the zoo huddle were afraid to mention it by name. There is strong evidence that the idol and Quetzalcoatl are closely linked. Is this godly link the reason for such dainty caution? I'd think you were. Okay. Let's see here. So I guess what we do here is go kablam. finish it now. It's okay. It's all good. It's all right. So, we push that there. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. like that. Easy peasy. Come on. There we go.
Yay! I got money. Blast furnace. Oh boy. Okay, I'm too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, um. Let's just try moving a little bit. So I guess we go like this. Oh shit! Oh, I see. Okay, I guess. So I guess we go like this then. Hmm. Set this shit up right. Okay, alright, I, I see what is going on. I do, I do. I really do. Since when do arrow set off TNT anyway? Oh well, whatever. Try something different then. Oh, shit. So busy watching one, they didn't see the other. Yay, death! Mm. Okay, so three crates blocking three arrows. All of which need to stay blocked. One switch, one spare crate. Okay, I'm gonna try some. A variation on my original plan.
because now I know I can set those things off. So let's go set those things off. This should actually work. I mean, I doubt it's the intended solution. Or maybe it is the intended solution. Either way, you know what? It's a solution. I just wish I could, I just wish I could force the explosion. That's what I want. Second last one. And last one. What? What? What even happened there? So that's it. Oh, I probably jumped into it. That's pro probably what happened there. Okay then. Probably should have thought of that first. Probably should have thought of that first too. Alright, so situation resolved by using him first. So like that. Oh fuck. Last one.
that. Shit time, shit retries. Yeah, fuck you, game. Gold digger! Ha! Got a load of this guy. He intentionally left all this treasure here. Listen. Priceless, priceless relics are left throughout the temple. Each a decorative tribute to the amazing metallurgy and attention to detail of the Zuhudal. I can only speculate on the loss and life and man hours invested into each glistening, glistening chalice or jewel encrusted crown. I pass. A true collection of kings, and while my earthly needs would instruct me to take each piece and sell it for many lifetime salaries, I am a man of science. I leave each timeless treasure undisturbed. <laughs> what an idiot! Ah, well, his loss is my gain. He's so romantic. All right. That goes like that. This goes. Like this, and I go like I'm stuck. Awesome. Oh well, whatever. So first things first. Oh dear, we need to put all the uh, collections together, I suppose. So, okay, so go like this. Oh shit. Interesting. those damn things anyway. Hmm. Interesting, I can Gotham to taunt. <laughs> Come on, idiot. Alright. Okay, so the problem is we need to somehow...
course, I forgot to cut it down. Awesome. Fantastic. Whoa! Will you check out the digs of that guy? Where do you suppose one of those jewels is worth? You mean the obviously cursed fiery red gems for eyes that are staring through us? Those little ones! Probably a lot, but how are you planning on mining them out? With my trusty pickaxe, of course! You mean the one you sold to buy the plane? That one? Well, that guy said he had a lot of cubes to mine. Huh, Minecraft reference. All he gave you were three rocks and two sticks. So you have a pickaxe. <laughs> you have to admit, he was very persuasive. Seriously, who goes on an expedition with no tools whatsoever? Well, where's your shovel? It doesn't fit in my cosmetic bag, obviously. <laughs> nice. Very nice. You know what? You know what? That's it. I'm yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm very sincerely sorry. But that's it for this episode. Until next time, this is Let's Play Wive and Keep. I am Mad Lord Dolphin, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.